Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather on this Sunday. First, a live cam up at one of my favorite places on the planet, Loveland Ski Area, up on the Continental Divide of Colorado. You can see the lift coming up um, to over 12,000 feet. And it's a beautiful day here in Colorado, just waiting on the next storm system. Um, the primary days I think Loveland will get snow is uh, 320 through about 322, 323, somewhere right in there. Probably 6 to 12 inches for the Loveland area, A Basin, Keystone, Eldora, Winter Park, that area um, during that time frame. All right, let me just show you my... Um, bullet points and it's all part of an active pattern that's going to hit the west through 326 with different snow bullseyes throughout that time period like in california in the sierra one to three feet coming between 319 and 324 the wasatch another bullseye of mine 320 to 324 looking at probably two to three feet um, the Tetons are another bullseye. Southwest and western Colorado, New Mexico. We'll look at all those coming up in a few minutes. Now in the northeast, kind of an interesting setup with two storms, but the first one may be primarily rain, and then the one second later in the period could be some snow. So we've got all that going on. Let me just show you what um, this is going to look like. Um, so we'll go back to Loveland. I want to show you what the... Uh, the uh, water vapor satellite shows. So you've got a big area of low pressure right here, and this is what's gonna drive the pattern because all these other little lows are gonna kind of spin around it like little spokes on a wheel. And there's a rich flow right here sort of guiding everything towards California and beyond. So all these different lows will come in. And over the course of time through about 326, we're gonna have bullseyes in the Tetons, the Wasatch, Western and Southwest Colorado, New Mexico, um, the Sierra, the big sky, potentially the southern parts of Idaho. So all those areas will benefit from this flow. Let me just show you what um, the forecast radar and satellite is going to show. So we'll start this out. Here we are on Monday morning. Wave of snow moving into the interior. Um, continues into Tuesday. Here comes the next storm. There's like two or three storm systems into California. That moves snow into the interior. Here comes the third storm. Watch the Pacific Northwest. That spreads snow into the, uh, into the interior as well. And we're just chock full of snow into 324, 325. So yeah, it's definitely an active pattern with two to three different storm systems. Let me just show you what the jet's going to look like beyond this. Um, so this is the 328 time frame. Still pretty active. You can see there's a low getting pinched off the coast of California with a powerful jet running through Colorado. So that's probably on the very tail end of all of the active stuff that I'm seeing, but it still suggests that through the end of March, we could be looking at storm systems tracking across um, the west from California through the interior, including the Pacific Northwest. All right, let's talk about some numbers here. All right, the, uh, today through the 21st, looking at about a foot, maybe a couple of feet there through the Sierra. Um, 6 to 12 for the Tetons, the Wasatch, Brian Head, Snowball, and in Colorado, uh, most of that's Western Slope and Southwest Colorado, where we could see 8 to 20. Um, less in Summit County, Continental Divide, and North. All right, let me just show you period two. So this is probably going to capture another two full storm systems. So another one to two feet for the Sierra. Another one to two feet for the uh, the Wasatch and also the Tetons. So again, that's why we're probably looking at two or three feet of grand totals through the Tetons and the Wasatch during the entire nine-day period. In Colorado, we add another several inches, especially the western slope in southwest Colorado gets another foot or more. So again, it's really western and southwest Colorado. And northern New Mexico gets another 8 to 12. I love some of these locations. Looking really good. Into the northeast. Um, so there's a storm that comes through on the 23rd, maybe too warm, and then there's another storm system later in the period that looks to drop most of this snowfall as it brings in colder air. All right, so there you go, guys. We've got uh, an active pattern out west with two or three storms. Enjoy it. Be safe, and thanks for tuning in here. Take care.